Hey, this is John Bolger with Premier Guitar. Today, we're taking a first look of the new Matrix Infinity Mic Blend. Okay, so Fishman has been making uh, these really wonderful under, under saddle uh, piezo pickups for a long time and become a standard of the industry. There's, there's, well, I don't have to name the names, but there's just a few companies doing this really well. And before that, acoustic guitars plugged in sounded horrible. I remember back in the day, it's like, why bother? They were, there were very few options and all of them I thought were crappy. Uh, but they've really took it to the next level about 20 years ago um, and have been advancing it all along. And this is their latest. And it's a combination, as you might guess, um, of a mic, as far as the mic blend. Um, there's a mic hidden right in here, which you probably can't see. Um, there's a blend right here, and then there's the under saddle, and then two controls, basically volume um, and tone. And the tone is kind of a mid-range notch. And then there's a magic switch that makes you makes it able to adjust it for different guitars. A dreadnought setting or something maybe that needs a little bit more bottom end, you can add it with this switch. Um, as far as how we're recording it, I'm just running a cable directly from this into a radial di and from there it's going into an apache quartet and into pro tools so just plug in straight in blowing and going and they sent it in this uh new d18 uh, martin d18 and i was playing it a bit beforehand and it really it kind of captures the voice of this of this d18 now granted for the purists out there you never quite i don't think I don't know if we're ever going to make a pickup in my combination that sounds like an acoustic in the room, but this is pretty pretty dang close as you can hear. Um, I'll just play a bit and kind of go through some of the settings. So right now, um, this mic, as I said, is adjustable. Uh, if you want a little bit more of a different part of the of the instrument, you can you can lean it towards the neck or more towards the sound hole. I've got it in the stock setting because that's kind of, it, I, I, I've left it out how it came. I tried the others, but I think it's kind of dialed in. And that's sort of my go-to. I, I trust engineers more than my own ears, so I assume that whoever designed this thing kind of knew the sweet spot. Um, down here is the blend knob. Now if we roll it one way, we're gonna have more mic roll it the other way, more piezo. But the sweet spot, again, I found, I mean, you can, you can tweak this forever and find where you want it, but there's a notch in the middle and I kinda of like it in the middle. Now again, if you're, say you're playing on a, on a live loud stage and it's, and it's prone to feedback, well, you're gonna want less mic, obviously. Uh, but again, it's great that they give you option to tweak as we go. So in the middle, I found like, I found you get this great, you know, bass response. Another thing I like about the mic combined with the with the piezo is acoustic guitar is such a percussive instrument. You know, we're whacking on it, and granted, it's driving Perry crazy because I might kind of red light a little bit when you dig in too hard. But when it's dialed in right and sounds right in a room in a performance, those kind of slappy percussive parts are like the coolest part. And there's so many. I don't know, there's something that's happened with acoustic guitar players lately where they've brought in all this wonderful percussive elements and tapping and smacking and whatever. And it's great, man. I wish I could do that stuff. I don't really do it particularly well, but I love the players that do it. Particularly Tommy Manuel is, you know, unbelievable what he does. He is, he's like, I don't know, 
touched by the hand of God. But part of that plane that has become a big deal of late has been propelled forward by internal mics that get that percussive thing apart. Back in the, you know, when you just said a piezo, you're not getting that same, you know, that kind of reaction it just isn't, I mean, that's a kick drum, man. You can't get that on a piezo. It's just not going to happen. Um, up here, let me grab a conventional pick. Um, so here is the magic switch that, again, on a dreadnought, I think this feels really good. But if you had maybe a parlor guitar, let me hit the switch. There we go. little bit more bottom end you know you know sounds great now again it felt like a little bit too much bottom end with the with the dreadnought um, because they're Traditionally, I just like the way they sound. You know, they, they, it seems like you get, you get everything in there. You get a nice crisp up and you get a, a firm bottom. So who doesn't, who doesn't love a firm bottom and a crisp top? This gives you all that. But again, you can tweak it for the guitar, which is a great option. Um, but also, once you get it dialed in, why, why jack with it? You can, it's the thing about like all these options on gear. You can dial yourself into a great tone and you can dial yourself right out of a great tone. So something to be aware of. Um, install is easy. Um, just jack right there runs on a, there's a nine volt battery hidden in here, Velcroed in. Um, and I've had Velcro guitars before where, you know, you're, you're playing hard and I do kind of play hard and they knock loose and then they're bounce around. So that's a potential thing, but, yeah, the Velcro holds it, holds it pretty well, and I'm sure that normal people that are not playing like gorillas, it'll hold in just fine. Um, and over here, the other, other, only other control volume, I just leave that up all the time, but it's great to be able to bring it down. Um, I find, I don't know, when I play in acoustic gigs, particularly when it's a sound hole like that, I'll leave it up all the time. I'll bring it down when I'm um, when I'm not playing. But other than that, I leave it up all the time because I think it's where it sounds best. Now, I get it. If you want a little boost for a solo, it'd be tempting to play it to turn up. But how the hell do you reach it for a solo? Um, so there's just no doing that. You can use I use volume pedals or boost pedals or whatever like that. So I can do it with my feet and dig in. Um, or a really good guitar player would just kind of adjust it with their pick, just dig in more. But that's I'm just not that good. Uh, then over here, we have the tone control, which again, I kind of like it all the way up, but it's got this mid-range bit right here. Let me dial it back a bit. with that so here's turning it way down cool cool tone but I think I like it best all the way up. What can I say? I'm a turn, I'm a turn, everything all the way up kind of guy. 
Uh, this thing is like $300, which, you know, seems like a, I guess it's $299 or whatever. But it can literally, you put this in a good guitar and you're good to go. There's no gig you couldn't play. So very impressive. Uh, Fishman, great work. Great on you. To read the full written video review, go to premierguitar.com. While you're online, check us out on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Instagram, Twitter. Just, we've got guitar geek crap all over the place. So, <laughs> tune in. It's John Bolger. Until next time. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.